For the next few days, I'm joining the Kenya Wildlife Service Capture Unit, who are delightfully formal and run everything in strict military fashion. Morning, sir. Morning. This board is ready for your instructions. Okay. Even the introductions are regimented. And Sam Ngethi, the assistant director of KWS, invites me to meet the troops. Feeling rather like the Queen, I gladly accept the role. Captain team, headed by John Kanyingi. Mr. Kanyingi. Hello. Hello, Chair. We got uh, Mr. Patrick Mulandi, my deputy. Patrick, hello. hello. Good to meet you. I'm Joanna. Yeah. Joseph Koech. How do you do? Sergeant Friend. Sergeant. Well, John, how do you think these wonderful men are going to stand up to a giraffe? Well, uh, they have been uh, doing other operations, like uh, the translocation of elephants, doing uh, some uh, problem animal control work. Mm -hmm. So it's a team that has uh, been together for quite some time. With diversity of skills. Exactly. All animals. Exactly. From the little ones to the huge. The team uh, deals with from uh, the smallest animal yeah. to the largest. Yeah. And are the smallest always the tamest, or do they sometimes bite as well? Well, uh, they can, but, uh, well, they take care. Yeah, they take care. Yeah. Wonderful. Camp has been set next to the holding pens, or bomas, where our giraffes will be kept for a few days after capture to allow them time to calm down before we attempt to move them by road. Handling wild giraffes is not easy. They're extremely strong and dangerous, easily able to kill a lion or a man with a single kick. They're also very complex physiologically. The adaptations they've made to having such a long neck are remarkable. Not only do they have the highest blood pressure of any mammal, but with jugular veins an inch in diameter, they also have valves in the neck to control blood flow to the brain. They even have muscles in their leg veins to help get blood back from their hooves. And the skin on their legs is so tight, it acts like surgical stockings to stop their ankle swelling. Such complexity makes it extremely dangerous to try and use drugs to knock them down for capture. If the dosage is slightly wrong, or a giraffe is kept sedated for too long, it will die. It's a problem the KWS vet, Elizabeth Wambua, has to be prepared for. Why don't people just sort of lasso a giraffe and bring them down like a stair? Would that be possible? In the old days, back in the 70s, when the capture unit began, they used to catch almost every species that way. But research and a lot of field trials have shown that it's much better when you use drugs to keep the stress levels down. It's found easier to dart them, get them down quickly, tranquilize them, and they're not so alarmed by everything that's going on around them. So that is strong enough to knock over one man, two men, ten men? A cc and a half of this, we knock down an elephant. So you can imagine how potent it is. It's very potent indeed. You have your, your needle up at the front. Needle? What do you mean, needle? <laughs> no one's <laughs> seen anything like that. So this is, this is what we'd use for the giraffe. Elizabeth, just tell me, that little barb, is that to hold it in? That's to hold it in. Once you dart the animal, you want enough time for the drug to be yeah. discharged in. So what that does is actually hold the dart in. Sometimes what people do is they shoot it and yeah. jack up, and then they miss the... They, they aimed very well, but because of the last-minute move, it goes off the target, so you... have got the man in the balcony. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's, yeah, it's cool. Wow, it is heavy. Now, is it cocked? No. Now, you cock it. I cock it. By pressing that on the top, yeah? Okay, oh, then... There we are. Yeah, so put it where you want and then... Yeah, exactly. Oh, you, you'd make a perfect shot. <laughs> Dead goodness, in the centre. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. That was the rump. Oh, exactly, yeah. 